My name is Julie Brunning. I'm a teacher of technology and construction at Wellacre Academy, which is in Flixton, south of Manchester. Class of Your Own approached me a couple of years ago, advertising their new curriculum and, and asking for some help in how to see that within the classroom. With my background within interior architecture, I was straight on board with what they were trying to do. Today we've been doing a workshop with Design and Engineer Construct and we've welcomed four members of industry into our academy from architects and surveyors and landscape designers to work with the students throughout the day to develop ideas for an eco classroom. The eco classroom workshop is about immersing students in the world of the built environment, taking on professional roles, delivering to tight deadlines and understanding the way in which they work together as a team to deliver a project. The uh, day begins with uh, the students being divided into groups and deciding um, what role they should take based on what their skills are and what their interests are. So we have architects, surveyors, landscape designers, um, as well as a managing director and a management team comprising of marketing managers and brand designers, as well as a sustainability officer. And their role as a group is to come up with the best design for uh, an environmentally friendly eco classroom, um, but also to come up with um, the branding and logos and strap line that will enable them to market their product, their building, um, as a, a futuristic piece of architecture. Once they've deci decided on the roles they're going to take, they then divide up into different tasks and, and undertake some very specific research. So the architects are looking at green buildings, renewable energy, recycled materials. The surveyors go and survey a piece of the school, which becomes the site, taking measurements, understanding the constraints of the site, um, and also crucially understanding which is north and the way the site is orientated so that they can then feed back to the architects and the rest of the team and advise them on the best place to locate the building. Whilst this is happening, the other designers are looking at the environment around the workshop, thinking about biodiversity, the, the environment, the potential to grow food, and the management team are, are brainstorming ideas to come up with the most catchy name, a strap line. We give them examples from industry, things that they already know without realising they know it, that they're surrounded by logos and brands every day, and get them to think about how they might, mark, mark, they might market their, their project. After a short break, they all come back together and produce a presentation. This can, comprises of drawings, architectural, as well as logos, and in a very hectic session, the teams come up with a presentation um, that puts all of their ideas on paper. And the day concludes with uh, very short presentations by each group, each vying to be the, uh, the best project of the day. So it's a very intense day, but what we see time and time again is an endless stream of amazing ideas, great drawings, and we see the penny dropping in terms of why it's important that the students work together, understand their roles, understand their jobs. We also hope that the workshop will give them an insight into uh, the world of work in the construction industry, the roles and careers that exist within that sector. We want to give them a taste of, of what it's like to be an architect or work in construction. And it never ceases to amaze me how amazing the end results are. Students come up with really interesting ideas that are unique to them. So uh, there's a lot going on and it's an incredibly fast and furious day, um, but the results are always amazing and we always go away thinking there's a budding young architect there or you know, thinking about a student's idea and it, it's really fantastic to see what they come up with.